Hey man, when you come on here to this technological landscape, to this uh, technological Leviathan of the mind, I don't really even know what Leviathan means. I think it means monster, right? I just like the sound of it. But when you come on to this technological Leviathan of the mind that we call the internet, you're getting somebody else's viewpoint of how they see the world. You're getting somebody else's narrative. You're getting somebody else's story. And if you don't check yourself, when you come on here, you're going to get sucked in to somebody else's narrative. It's very easy, especially with echo chambers that we have online. It's very easy to get sucked in to popular narratives um, that really aren't held in any kind of standard for truth. They're just kind of, it's just everybody agreeing with each other. Or you're getting the media's narrative and then people agreeing with that because the media is spewing fear on how to live your life. Uh, either way, you're getting a story that isn't yours. You're getting some person's story of how they see the world or how they think you should see the world and how you should live your life. But the only story and the only narrative that you should believe and that you should, that you should live by is the story of the heart. It's the story of love, man. That's it. It's that simple. You don't need anything else. Anybody else's viewpoint on this crazy thing that we call the internet or the metaverse, it's all malarkey. It's all just projections. Think about it. All these ideas that we have on here, where do these people get their idea? They're from, from other people that had these ideas and it just keeps going. It just, this, the chain keeps going. Like where did this truth come from, this truth? It's just other people's projections and other people repeating other people's projections and it just keeps going and going and going but dude nobody knows what's going on man nobody has any idea what's going on so once you concrete an idea a story in your head oh that's it that's how the world is this is what's happening with the world you're you lost you're losing the game man because that's not it whatever you think the world is or how the world works, it's most likely false. Most likely it's false. Or at least, I'm not gonna say it's false, at least you should hold it to be potentially false in your being. That's how I try to view everything on here, is like this, how, how could this not be the truth? <laughs> how is this, uh, where did this come from? Why is this self-evident to this person? Where did they get this idea? Why is this important to me? How does this affect my narrative? And that's a big one. Ask yourself, how does this affect my story? The most things that we see on here on this technological Leviathan, it has nothing to do with your narrative. It has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with our, with our own narrative unless you let it. If you let it affect your story, then it's going to affect your story. And it's going to affect your vibe. It's going to affect your entire life. And it's going to affect um, your just entire being, your energy. If you let it, the subconscious mind is powerful. And if you're implanting these messages and stories from others to be self-evident in your own being, then yes, it's going to affect your being. The, the mind, the brain, it's like a magnet to what we want to to what we want, can't even talk, to what we want to be attracted to us. And our attractions are largely based upon the subconscious um, dwellings in our mind. So if you're not checking in with yourself regularly on what the hell is going on in your subconscious, in your unconscious, 
in the things that aren't necessarily at the forefront of your mind, you know? If you're not meditating on things like that, you're not going to know what's going on. And if you're only, if you're just on here and just sucking in information all day, checking your Facebook feed, TikTok, Reddit, insert social media here, and you're taking in this information, you're taking in other people's stories, you're getting messages that are uh, most likely affecting you in your subconscious mind. You read something and you think, oh, that's it, I read it and, it, and it's gone. No, dude, you, you read that and most likely it's implanted in your subconscious mind and it's affecting you in one way or the other, unless you check yourself. You gotta check yourself, man. If you check yourself and realize that it's all malarkey, it's all just a shell, nobody really knows. And it's somebody else's narrative that they most likely got from somebody else's narrative that they most likely got from somebody else's narrative and the chain goes on. The chain of narratives. The chain of the, the, the story that really has no origin. The only origin is in the ego. <laughs> it's just our giant egoistic story on here. We're just telling this giant story that really holds no truth. It just, there's no... There's no foundation for it. The only true foundation for truth is love. It's in the heart. That's it, man. That's the only thing that's going to last. That's the only thing that is here forever. It's, it's love, man. It's true love. And it's not love as in, you know, physical affection or sexual attraction or lust. It goes a lot deeper than that. The love that we hold in all of our hearts is, is, it's really unspeakable, to be honest. It's unconditional love for us to awaken to our true selves. I guess is, that's the best way that I could put it. And it's a force that is centrifugal in all of our beings that is lying dormant in all of us. It's almost hidden. But we can all, we can all awaken and succumb to this internal love, if you want, to this internal truth, if you want. We can all tap into it. But you can't get lost in somebody else's narrative. If you're lost in somebody else's narrative, you're not on the narrative of infinite love. It's that simple, man. It's that simple. So, I mean, I'm not saying, you know... Get rid of your smartphone, go live in the woods, meditate. That might be useful, to be honest with you, if you can, if you can manage that. Uh, I'm just saying, man, you got to be careful on here. Don't fall in. Don't get lost in the sauce, bro. It's easy to get sucked in. Just think. Just think about this, right? When you're reading somebody else's story and it sounds convincing, and it's like, oh, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, this sounds good, right? Just think. Where did they get that information? Why is that relevant to me? Is that really relevant to my life? And I mean my life, my day-to-day -day life. Is that really relevant to what is going on in my own life? I'm not going to say it is or it isn't, but most likely it isn't. <laughs> Just ask the question to yourself. Why, why is this person saying this? What, where did they get this from? Why do I believe this? Is it the way that they put their words? Is it the way that it, it, it attracts uh, to me emotionally? Is it the way that they put it so it kind of like, you know, hits a certain chord in my being? So I'm kind of like, ooh, just think, just question this, man. That's the first step. And then the second step is just saying, you know what? They don't know what they're talking about. Nobody knows what they're talking about, bro. We're all just here. We're all just confused apes. Just trying to make it through. Just trying to survive. Just trying to fornicate. Reproduce. Keep the code going. And that's all we really know. At least in these physical vessels. But deep down. At our deepest lair. The deepest narrative that you can tap into. Is the one of tapping in to the source, the source of love. That's it, man. That's where we all come from. That's the only truth. 
that's worth noting, at least for me. Don't even believe my narrative. <laughs> Take this with a grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt that you see on here. Just don't believe the narrative of fear, man. Fear. That's the biggest one. This um, Leviathan. Here we go with that word. Leviathan of technology is controlled a lot by the media. And yes, we're all, a lot of us are waking up to the bullshit of the media in the Western world, but a lot of us aren't. A lot of us still take that as the truth. But the, they're spewing the truth as a, uh, a culture of fear and division and confusion. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. The truth is unity, love, and and light, man. And once you tap into that, you don't, it never you, you don't lose it, bro. That's that's the true truth. <laughs> that's that's the realness. Anything else they're spewing, it's just bullshit to make you weaker, to make it so that you don't find out that true power of love that's within you, because that's true power, man. That's true immortality. That's true. It's true. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. And if you know, you know, man. And once you tap into that power source, nothing can stop you. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing can harm you. And the narrative, the popular narrative, they don't want you to know that, bro. They don't want you to know the power that you have, that you, we all hold within our beings. And that power is the power of God, bro. It's not the God with the puppet strings, with the beard and the clouds. It's the power of, of creation that's within, that's within you right now. That same creator that created us and used th th that force to create this conscious experience that we're currently living in somehow in the image of God. We have that present in us right now. And that's true power. That means you can create whatever you want for your life. Imagine a whole population on that wavelength. Ooh, that's scary, isn't it? To the powers that be, they don't, they don't like that idea. They don't like that idea. They don't want us to know who's running the show. But Joe Biden's not running the show. <clears throat> The Illuminati's not running the show. I don't even know if the Illuminati's real, to be honest. The people with money aren't running the show. No politician, no corporation, no celebrity holds power over you. <clears throat> They're not running the show. <clears throat> Love is running the show. And that is inside of you. That's the narrative. That's the story. And you have the ability to create from that power and write your own narrative and write your own story. We all have that power. You just gotta tap in, bro. Hmm, yeah, that's it, man. Don't get sucked into this shit. This is a lot, of, this is so much malarkey on here. Just write your own narrative. Write your own story. And, uh, yeah, man. Spread the good word, you know? Do, do good deeds. Be a good person. That's what it comes down to, at, at its most basic. Give back. Serve others. Don't fear others. You are the others. <laughs> We're all the others. That's it, man. Um, yeah, bro. Don't get sucked into this. It's just crazy. It's a leviathan. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the definition to that word. I'm pretty sure it means monster. I hope it does. It's some kind of like giant monster. It's a leviathan, right? I don't know. I like the I like the word. Other than that, guys. Uh, yeah. Peace out. Hey. 
take it easy. Don't take it so seriously. Disconnect to see what's going on up here and create the life that you really want to live. That's what we're here for, bro. We're here to be creators. We're here to write the book to our own lives. All right? And you're the main character. Other than that, peace out, one love.